Seriously, they're getting weird again. Why is Bella better? Welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Christine. As you could already see, and from the title, I'm obviously gonna do a talk through. So we're gonna get ready with me. I'm not really going anywhere, but I'm just gonna do this because prom is coming up and I'm gonna do some makeup on a few people and I did wanna practice. Um, not only on myself though, I'm gonna practice on other people, but that's like a little later during spring break. I might film it, I don't know, but I'm not actually going to prom this year. So yeah, once again, I'm not going anywhere. I'm just doing this because I felt like it. And if you don't want to watch this, then you can leave. I tried to recreate. I know it's not exactly like the picture because, I don't know, when I try to recreate stuff, it won't really look exactly like that. I tried. So, I tried to recreate this picture, I mean, this makeup look that Daisy Marquez, Marquez? Pretty sure you guys watch her on YouTube. It will be down below. Plus, there will be a picture up somewhere, maybe right here. I did my own kind of thing, sort of, but I did also follow like the colors and everything like that. As you can see, there's obviously only one I done. I completely forgot that I was supposed to film this so I kept like moving on with my makeup and I'm like oh shit I hella forgot. I'm gonna try to attempt to do this on the other eye and hopefully I get it right. Yeah this is gonna be talk through because some of you guys said that the voiceover was kind of boring so start with the other eye. Actually let's continue doing my brows. Let me mention, I've been using this, uh, fuck, what's it called? The Tatcha, yes. So, <coughs> so I went to Sephora one day and I found like the Tatcha little set. It comes with the cleanser and the water cream, which is a moisturizer. And, you know, that compared to the full size is like a big ass fucking difference. So I decided, <clears throat> you know what, maybe I should try it because I don't know if most of you guys know, I only use Lush products on my face. Like, ever since since I started using Lush, I kind of like ditched any other product, especially drugstore. No hate though, but I'm just saying. Um, yeah, because ever since I've been using Lush, my face like literally cleared the fuck up. And my face used to actually be super, super dry. Now it's pretty balanced. Um, there were times I would break out, you know. It would bother me though because it would just get worse and worse. So I decided why not buy this shit. So yeah, I decided. I'm just gonna, oh shit, I'm just gonna buy it. So let me just say, my skin, it definitely like cleaned it. Like what I mean by clean, like it's really good with obviously cleansing your face. It does a good job with that. Um, it's kind of bothering me because it looks like it's like really too cut and that's kind of like connected. I don't know, we'll see. If it bothers me, I'll fix it later. But, um, but yeah, it does a really good job at like cleaning. Like it really does a good job at getting like in your pores, cleaning stuff out, getting dirt out, whatever it is. But I have noticed that my skin definitely is starting to get clear. I know that I do still have acne though, but overall, like my skin, usually like what I have right now is probably like acne scars. But I mean, I know I do have some like acne right here, but it definitely goes away quicker than before. I'm pretty oily, so the water cream is really, really good for me because it doesn't add hella moisture. I like how the cleanser smells, what else? But yeah, I just, I don't know, overall I really like that product. And I think I'm actually gonna keep using it. I really, really, really like it. I'm trying to find my concealer. I was literally like just using it and I don't know where the fuck it went. Oh my gosh, let me say that there's some people who like comment on my shit and they're like, they're like, oh, you know, I really liked you, but I noticed you cuss too much, so I don't really like watch your videos anymore. Like, let me just say that I'm not here to be anybody's role model, okay? I'm not here to teach anybody's kids or whatever, whatever it is. And I don't say that in a rude way. I say that in the most honest way possible, okay? Because... I don't know, like, I wouldn't say I'm offended. I would just say, like, it's annoying because it's like, do you expect me to act a certain way? Or I mean, of course, like, I can kind of see it in a respectful, like, manner, but, you know, that's just not me. So I'm kind of, I don't even know what I'm doing. Like, I'm kind of just putting this in my crease, but not, not very, like, thick, not using a thick brush, but I'm just blending it right now, so. It looks really dark, but I promise, like, it's not. 
Now I'm gonna take this concealer from Vincent Long Vincent Longo. I kind of like fill it in already and then work my way up. Let me use a different brush because I feel like that one's not precise enough. I'm gonna use the one that I use for my brows. Uh, first of all, I open my eye and I want to see where it kind of like stops. If I do it too low and I open my eye, then it's kind of like gonna stamp it onto above my lid kind of and kind of like ruin it if that makes sense. So if I open it and then I see where it stops and then I cut that part, then it won't stamp. Like if I open it, it'll kind of like stay in place. I don't know if that even makes sense. Ooh, I have a knot on my back. And it hurts. And I'm gonna go back in that brown shade and kind of blending it. Maybe I'll bring it a little farther. I'm gonna go back with that concealer. But yeah, as I was saying, like, I don't know. Like, everyone cusses, okay? Well, where I'm from, everyone fucking cusses. And probably even more than me. So, I don't know how, you know? My, I feel like my mom cusses all the time. So, I kind of get it from her whoa my back so now i don't have another like really good thin brush so i'm kind of going to use um this brush right here it's an angled brush and i'm actually using this lip color from my anastasia volume one lip palette and i'm going to use obviously the blue shade and i'm just going to go over this I mean, you're probably thinking like, oh, why didn't you just use the blue instead of, you know, putting the concealer on top? I did that. It wouldn't be as pigmented and it would kind of smear with the brown shade. So now I'm just going to add another layer. I like the consistency of this. It is matte, but it's like a cream, you know? Yeah, that's enough, because we're gonna pat it. So I'm gonna take this packing brush, and I'm gonna also take a palette that Hush sent to me, Retro Love, and I love, this is actually one of my favorites that they sent to me. I really love the shades. Like there's olive green, there's the blue that I used, and then there's like kind of like a teal, burgundy. Oh, and this is such a nice like copper, metallic copper kind of color. So I'm gonna go in with that blue shade, which is called Free Love. And by the way, they're really pigmented. Like I really love Hush because their products are so cheap, like a high, with a high end, you know, makeup quality. I know that's super blue, but just the we're not done, honey. I think I'm kind of upset because the glittery shade that I used isn't the blue that I wanted, like the picture. That's kind of why it doesn't look exactly the same. I feel like if I did have a nicer glittery blue shade, then it would probably look the same. So now I'm gonna take another packing brush, but this is a bigger one. And I'm gonna take this palette, which is from Hush as well. Aura, Aura palette. And I'm gonna go in with this one in ecstasy. And I'm only gonna pack it once. Now I'm gonna go in again with that brown shade and add that in my outer corner and kind of blending it a little because you don't want the blue to go all the way in the end. That's where the brown is supposed to be. So yeah, this brown shade that I'm using is from the Aura, Aura palette, the shade Vibe. The only thing I don't like about it is there's a lot of fallout. I think we're done. Now, and I'm gonna go in with this eyeshadow. I actually also use this as a highlight. This is from Lisa Frank, collaboration with Glamour Dolls in the shade Stargazing, which is one of their shimmer eyeshadows. And I'm just gonna pack that onto my inner corner. I want it to look really pop out. So what I did was I went back with that Aura, Aura palette, I don't know how to fucking pronounce it, in the shade Soul. This is like so super pigmented, like feels like it's creamy every time I like go like this. This is more of a yellow gold. And I'm gonna pack that. Now I'm gonna add the excess onto my brow bone. You can see it's very pigmented.
This is from the Brow Gal. This is probably like one of the best. This is actually the best one I've actually ever used. I'm actually running out. I'm literally just like scraping what's left. But if it's like full, you would definitely see the full effect. And I'm not gonna put on eyeliner just cause I feel like I want the eyes to pop. Okay, now we're done with the eyes. Oh my gosh, I love how it came out. Oh my god, I love these lashes. Anywho, I'm gonna clean my little area when it's messy. Do I want to pick that up and clean it or just continue and deal with it later? I'm gonna deal with it later. I'm not gonna have time to film my other video. I'm not gonna finish in time. So I'm gonna use my L'Oreal True Match in the shade W6 and my Smashbox Studio Skin in I think, oh, 3.1. And I'm gonna mix those two. I'm getting kind of tired using liquid foundation. I'm, I think I wanna switch to using a stick. I heard the Hourglass one is super good, but it doesn't really look like there's enough product. Um, The one that I have right now is the Anastasia one, but that one sucks. It's shit. Like I, well, okay. It's kind of weird. Like I don't know why in the summer it works for me. I don't know if it's because it's like warmer weather. <laughs> And you know the stick, it's like solid. <laughs> I think it works better when my skin is like clear. Cause it definitely looks horrible when I'm breaking out. Like it just emphasizes my acne. Like it just shows up way more. Hopefully when I bronze my face, it'll look better because I'm not feeling this. Do you see the hard trash line for my edges? And that's exactly why I don't do my hair first. People be telling me to do my fucking hair first. And this is what happens. Okay, moving on. I'm gonna use my, let me tell you about this concealer. It's from It Cosmetics, which is a Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage, waterproof and anti-aging concealer. Let me tell you guys about this foundation. I mean, concealer. This is the most thickest, most full coverage concealer I've ever used in my life. Like it is so thick and it comes out so thick. Like, I don't know if you guys see that when I squeeze, you see how it like literally stays in place. That's how thick it is. It's super thick. Um, I actually got this from my Ipsy bag. I'm for sure gonna purchase more when I run out. Oh my gosh, this concealer is bomb. And you're probably thinking why I don't cream contour and that this might make my face 10 times whiter. Um, I just prefer not to do it because I feel like it kind of wastes time and it'll already look good if I put my powder, like my bronzer. Um, I do know that it will show up more and like be more opaque if I did both, but I don't know. That's just, that's just me. I just feel like it kind of wastes 
time. I don't have time to do it, especially since I'm always rushing when I do my makeup and getting ready. And I also have used their um, loose powder and it's bomb. The Bye Bye Pores, oh my gosh. Like literally what it says to do, like all of its benefits, they're not lying. When I use the Bye Bye Pores um, setting powder, oh my gosh, literally all my pores, gone, disappeared. I'm gonna take my Anastasia contour kit and set my eyes with the banana shade. I think that's what it's called, banana. I'm not gonna blend it yet. I'm just kind of like putting it in place. Now I'm gonna take a more fluffier brush. So I'm gonna take this contour palette from this brand called City Color. I don't know, I got this from my Ipsy bag and I like using that shade in the middle as a blush. Like it's not, like there's a pink in there, I swear, but it's like barely. Super light peach shade. I don't like wearing blushes that are like all out, you know? I do it both ways because if I do, I feel like if I do it one way, it'll look super fake and it'll be only in one area. And I like to add some on my chin. It gives me like an extra, like an extra glow. I'm gonna go ahead with the brown shade, but I am gonna mix it a little bit with the white, but it's gonna be like a really light brown. But oh my gosh, I'm in love with this look. I need to start doing these. Oh my gosh. 
Should I do like a series? I don't know, comment down below if I should do a series where like I try to attempt doing a makeup look. Obviously it's not gonna be exactly the way it looks, but kind of like my own way of doing it and kind of similar to the pictures. So yeah, just let me know if you want that kind of series on my channel. I and mean, I will go ahead and do that for you guys. I will see you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and please, please, Please share my video, you guys. Continue sharing my videos. I'm really, really trying to get up to 100K. I'm getting pretty close, so I would really appreciate it if you guys would share my videos. Um, and yeah, that's all I have to say. I will see you guys in my next video.